folks welcome to the first ever gauntlet tournament selection show i'm your commissioner your trivia host your undisputed fcb champion jesse the king of the buzzer the one who writes all the questions and still gets half of them wrong and you are a player or a fan eager to find out if your team has secured a spot in the first ever gauntlet championship tournament the regular season has come to a close but boy were there fireworks and storylines we had a dominant start from what appeared to be the top dogs, the LLC, Richie, Roy, and Roy, who went out and got Charles. A team that started off hot only to be marred in controversy, cheating scandals, and suspensions. During the suspension, however, they did show signs of strength as Charles and Richie picked up the slack, winning each game by a total score of 25 to six. Are they the team to beat now, heading into the tournament with a full roster? But look out for Liv Moss Hot Sauce, who went out and got talent in James, a three-man roster of Travis, James, and Tyler. It paid off as they beat nearly every team in the league, starting off to a 7-1 record, so they have faltered as of late. Finishing the season at 9-3, and three. are the wheels coming off, or are they still the strongest team in the league? You might hear something from two other teams about that. Two teams that pulled in opposite directions as they got more games under their belt. We have Milk Party, who showed time and time again that they are a contender. Moving into the number one spot in terms of real trivia score, the ultimate metric in the computer ratings. They won their last two games late in the season to become tournament eligible and serious contenders. On the other side of this coin, you saw the gentlemen begin to falter as they dropped from a 3-1 record, a perennial number one contender, to a 3-3 three three finish, losing back-to-back -back games to the Booze Brothers and Liv Moss Hot Sauce. Now they're sitting at a 500 record. Are they what we thought they were at the beginning of the season? And then, of course, is the Booze Brothers, the underdog, the Cinderella story, the turnaround of the season. They started off at two and five and then scratched and clawed their way to a 500 record. Now six and six, by the way, scoring nearly 10 points per match over those five games, which is a league leading stat. The Booze Brothers are now a dark horse team. Nobody wants to face. I got four teams to reveal today, so let's get to it. And we're gonna start off with that upper left-hand region of the bracket, the number one overall seed, the team that gets a first round bye and an automatic spot into the semifinals, and it belongs to none other than Liv Moss Hot Sauce, with an incredible record of 9-3, and three, a team that has beaten more teams than anybody else, and a real trivia score of 23.56, led, of course, by their all-star, Travis, the number five ranked player coming into the tournament, racking up nearly five points per match and closer to seven as of late. But this team is not the number one overall seed without James, the number 10 player in this league, a stranger to most coming in, but now a player who we know is a solid <laughs> trivia yeah. expert who really rounds out the team Jabba's and palace. one who has an ability to catch fire. He had 11 points in their win over the gentlemen as a part of their 15-point performance, nearly a blowout. And of course, with Tyler as well, this team is really balanced and poised, earning 11 first-place votes in the most recent poll this team has earned respect of most of the league and no doubt will be a tough out this tournament. The number one overall seed, Liv Moss Hot Sauce. And that leaves the number two seed, the other team, getting a bye and an automatic spot into the semifinals. This is a spot that a lot of teams kind of flirted with throughout the year. We saw a lot of teams ebb and flow up into that top two, the upper echelon. But this spot was earned late in the season and of course it belongs to Milk Park. A team that came on late, finished the season strong, gained tournament eligibility, and now they are sitting at the number two seed, captained, of course, by the number one overall player, Jagger, and Kaylee, who's also ranked number seven. Look, pick a stat category, and they probably lead the league. Points per match, real trivia score, win percentage, you name it. The only knock on Milk Party, possibly what led them to land at number two rather than number one, 
is their body of work, which is kind of lax. They lost the hot sauce, they didn't play Richie the Boy Noy the LLC, they didn't play the gentleman. Nevertheless, this team notches nearly 10 points per match. As long as Jagger stays hot, they are a true contender for the championship. So there it is, the top two seeds in this tournament. Number one, Liv Moss Hot Sauce, and number two, Milk Party. Both teams earning the coveted first round buys and automatic entries into the semifinals. That leaves four spots left to fill out this bracket. Two to be revealed right now and the final two spots to be determined after the four remaining bubble teams duke it out in showcase matches to show the voters that they deserve one of those last two spots. So who are those two teams that are locked into the wild card spots? We're gonna start with the number three team. And it is Richie Roy and Roy LLC, the bad boys. The only team to have all three players in the top six, number two Richie, number three Charles, and number six, Chris, who has served his suspension and is eligible for their very first match, the wild card match, to face the sixth seed to be determined. This team averages nine points per match. They won six matches. And even without Chris, they still put up 12 and a half points per match. And now with a full roster, will they show that they are the best team in this trivia league? Bill Nye, 1955. What about the number four team? The number four team, the other team locked into the wild card round, is the turnaround story. The Booze Brothers started off two and five, now sitting at six and six. Over their last three matches, both Jacob and Greg, now ranked in the top ten, have averaged over eight points per match. They've averaged more points per match over their last five matches than any team has over their last five matches. They've turned their entire oh, season around, and now they've secured a spot in the wild card match. The Booze Brothers may be a dark horse to win the season one championship of the gauntlet. And those four teams, Hot Sauce, Milk Park, Richie Roy and Roy LLC, and the Booze Brothers are locked into the tournament. The other two teams to fill out seeds five and six are yet to be determined. It will be one of these four bubble teams. The gentlemen, they've lost their last two. Can they get back where they were and find their way into the tournament? The chain game, the fun team, America's team, the fan favorites. Patrick averaging nearly six points per match over his last five. Eric scored seven in their last match. This team is up and down, but they have beaten solid teams. They've faced hot sauce twice. They've beaten them twice. Lately, they've faltered. It's why they find themselves on the bubble now. Can they prove to the voters before the final vote that they deserve one of the last two spots and a shot at the title? The girls' room, the wild card team, led by Melissa, the most attractive player in this league, also the most explosive. She leads the league with three three-point sweeps. She has the ability to turn around a game in a snap. This team loses big, but also has taken down the likes of Richie, Roy, and Roy. They only have three wins but they can pull off big ones. Can they do it again this weekend in the showcase matches to earn a spot into the tournament? And the final spot in the showcase matches, the last bubble team goes to Bustin' Nuts sitting at two and five. They've lost their last four matches. After a one and one start, they've fallen way back, sitting at the eighth best next to last real trivia score. This team has shown strengths before. They can get six points. They've scored upwards of nine or 10 points in a match if the board is right. Can they take advantage of the board in the showcase match to steal a spot into the tournament with a shot at the title on the line? And that's it. Your four teams locked in. Your four teams on the bubble looking to get it to those last two spots. This tournament will determine who is the champion of Gauntlet Season 1. Who is the smartest group of people on the planet Earth? You'll find out here on The Gauntlet.